the French way of saying 86, 86, literally 420s and 6, might sound complicated to English speakers, but it's actually quite common. The source for the words hat and broken also give us the word chef. Hi, I'm Will, and I'm gonna give some surprising similarities between totally different languages. The Romance languages all derive from Vulgar Latin, so it's easy to see why a word like knight is so similar across all of them. But why is there overlap between Hindi and English, or Japanese and Turkish? Today, I'm breaking down those similarities and more. But first, remember to subscribe to Babbel if you love words and language learning. The English word mother is a lot like the Hindi word mata. You might assume this is because of the UK's colonial influence over India, but it actually goes back way further. English and Hindi are distant cousins. They're both part of a huge linguistic family, Indo-European languages. And they're far from the only two languages with a similar sounding word for the person who gave birth to you. Swahili has mama. In Mandarin, the English mom is mama. The linguist Roman Jacobson argued that this overlap isn't mere coincidence or necessarily the result of direct influence of one language on another. It may just be that mama, or something like it, is one of the first reproducible sounds many babies are able to make. Other overlaps between languages can be traced through historical connections. The Moors from North Africa ruled much of the Iberian Peninsula for centuries. You can still see the effect of Islamic culture in Spain at Granada's incredible Alhambra, but you don't have to travel that far to hear the impact on modern-day Spanish. Azucar, café, and limón all trace their roots back to Arabic. I the sandwich ate. It doesn't sound right in English because we generally use subject, verb, object, sentence structure. I ate the sandwich. But around the world, subject, object, verb order is actually much more common. It's just one of the ways that Japanese and Turkish are similar, for example. Both of those languages are also big on honorifics, titles that denote a person's status or age. In Turkish, I might be called Choi Bey. In Japanese, Choi San. Those two languages also employ a lot of agglutination, a way to make words by combining multiple morphemes, which are sort of the building blocks of words. An example in English is anti-disestablishmentarianism. At 28 letters, it's sometimes called the longest word in English. The longest word in Turkish? 70 letters. It starts with the word for success, mavafakayet, and just keeps going. Lengthy words are also a fixture of German, bandwurmwörter, or tapeworm words can be both a headache and a badge of honor for the language. Sadly, their longest word, a 63-letter term for a kind of beef labeling, fell out of use after changes in agriculture regulations. We get the word chef from French, but in French, chef doesn't mean chef. Still with me? The English meaning of the word, a professional or at least accomplished cook, is actually a shortening of chef de cuisine. Literally translated, it means head or leader of the kitchen. It actually comes from an old French word you might recognize. You can immediately see the connection. Head of a kitchen, head of a group. In old French, a chef is any type of leader or boss, from the head of a family to the head of your department at work. But in English, a chef is limited to the culinary world. French numbers can be mystifying for English speakers. 40, 50, 60. 40, 50, 60. Simple enough, but 70? 70, 60, 10. 80 is 80, or 420s. This system is known as vigesimal, or base 20. The people of France took it from Gaulish, a Celtic language used throughout Europe before the Roman Empire. While counting by 20s might stick out, it's more widespread than you'd guess. Languages like Gaelic, Welsh, and Danish say 80 with a similar structure. It's not even contained to Europe. Yoruba in West Africa, Maori in New Zealand, and Ainu in Japan all count by base 20. And while it's not used much in English, vigesimal counting is commemorated in one of the United States' most famous speeches. In his Gettysburg Address, Abraham Lincoln chose to say four score and seven years ago instead of 87. It does have a nice ring to it. If one language doesn't have a word for a useful concept, it can take it directly from another one that does. These verbal hand-me-downs are called loan words. One study claims that almost 80% of English is made up from loan words. Latin is the biggest contributor, but they also come from sources like Dutch, Turkish, and Hindi. Similar to loan words are calcs. The big difference here is that calcs are translated word for word. Flea market comes from the French term marché aux pousses, 
Blue blood, a term for a member of the upper crust, Spanish is sangre azul. What similarities have you noticed between languages? Let us know in the comments. And if you want more videos like this, like and subscribe below.